Michael Gowdy checking in. It's a balmy 32 degrees, and I'm going to take advantage of this warm-up. We've been, uh, I'm telling you, it's been cold, cold here. But uh, I got to fill my tank, my water tank. Yeah, yeah, you saw my uh, video, and if you haven't, go over and check out my video on the sewage, the dirty job one. This job ain't so bad, but, it, you, you know, I, I have to plan with the weather. Uh, this is uh, warm. I'm not all, totally out of water, but I'm going to top my tank off, take this advantage to top my tank off uh, while the weather conditions are right. Now, I don't have any running water, but I've devised a system on how to haul my water and how I get it into my uh, tank. I'll show it to you. Check it out. Yeah, I'm down here at one of the wells. And here's what I'm going to use. I'll show you how I transfer that over into my tank in the uh, camper. Now the well is not very close to the camper. I have a, quite a ways to go without trying to dump out all my water. It's very precious. Here's the uh, water tank. Now if I, if I get to a uh, city hookup, I can hook up the water and have the water pressure bypass the tank and go right in the system through that hookup right there. And uh, since I don't have that option to have that running water, I use the uh, tank right here. And then I, mailed, I built this pump. This is uh, something you'll find in the oh, uh, Marine Division at Walmart, or it's just a uh, 12 volt. I paid two dollars for it at a yard sale. I've had it for I don't know several years, and I just put it to good use right here. It pumps 500 gallons per hour, which uh, isn't very much, but it's it, fast enough for me. And you can see now why I want to do this on a warmer on a warmer day when it's a balmy 32. I've been out here trying to jig jack around with this when it's been sub-zero and it's not near as much fun. In fact, in fact, when it gets to be uh, that cold, I fill it by the gallon. I have a funnel set up right here and I just, I just uh, put in five or 10 gallons at a time as I need it uh, to try to keep it topped off uh, if I know that the weather is gonna be bad for extended period. They're forecasting it's coming tonight uh, sometime by five o'clock in the morning. And uh, we're gonna have uh, up to two to four inches of snow and freezing rain on, on the advance of it. So, uh, but then they're saying uh, the next day is gonna be back up in the thirties. So it may not last long, but in the meantime. So the pump goes down in there. This hose goes up, goes over and fits right down that, right down in there. This is 12 volt. Uh, I have a, uh, I've adapted, let's see if I can get this on here for you. I've adapted a cigarette lighter and uh, I have a port here on the four wheeler. It's right in here, but I like to start the four wheeler and run it because uh, the battery's not real big on that four wheeler. I don't think that uh, outlet is even hot. Is even hot when the when the four wheeler's not running. So this is what I do for my gray water. I just put a five gallon bucket here. I have two buckets and I just rotate them out. And uh, that way I know how much water right there is a, my shower water. And, uh, and maybe uh, washing a few dishes. But uh, that'll freeze up and maybe one of my videos, you, you watched one of my last videos where I shot a five gallon ice cube with a double barrel shotgun. You know, that's where it came from. The bucket had froze up. And, uh, yep, I shot it with a 12 gauge. Anyway, that's where the gray water, I catch it so I know how much water I use. And also, this pad that I'm sitting on will become a ice, all iced over if I don't catch that water.